and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Or as I like to call it, opening cards in front of skateboards. What? Honestly, you're you're on a, a hot streak lately. There's no doubt. Your alternative titles, <laughs> spot on. Spot on. We are of course still in season three, where we are opening packs from the Silver Tempest collection. We'll be opening up 25, 26 packs today. Yeah. Uh, for our patrons, uh, if you are new to the show, the concept is very simply this: we have a Patreon called Patreon.com/SuperCarlinGaming. There's a box breakers tier. If you would like for us to open a pack of cards for you, that we will then mail to you in the mail. In the mail. You can head on over to patreon.com slash supercarlygaming and select the box breakers tier. I'll link in the description down below. Right, this is round four of uh, round two, I guess, of month two into Silver Tempest. So after this, everyone in the game should have opened at least two packs, unless you were a rookie and started midway through. But it means next month, we will start having like final numbers for Fine. people. That's yes. when it gets very exciting. Like, who's going to win? As a reminder, our current leader right now is Brooke, who has an astounding lead in first place with 200. 31 points thanks to her amazing alt art Lugia V pull way back in like the second episode or something. The, yeah, so. the, the best card that we've pulled since the start of the show entirely. And on that note, let's just dive on in. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier, and you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards, and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four, plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now we have the wheel of energy oh. to determine this week's type advantage day if you can do the honors. I will do the honors. What are we gonna get this time? We've been hoping for that. We've been hoping for the tier, uh, the eyeball sweet, energy. Sweet eyeball energy, but we've landed on teardrop energy for the second episode in a row. Second episode in a row. We, we can't, can't make it up. These things, although we did see that the teardrop energy did well for people in last week's episode. It did. Uh, lots of extra points were scored as thanks to that type advantage. Gotta be careful. We don't even have to change the boards this time. Hey! There you go. Let's we'll start with the Glaceon up. You don't want, okay, it's fine. I just do it. it, just do it. I know you want to. <laughs> it's his favorite part this of this whole process. This is the only process. time. He just looks never. forward to it. He just, you know, then he puts the puck light and I become orange. Just worry the whole thing's gonna fall off the wall. We basically stapled it to the brick, so. Bam, there we go. As far as I'm concerned, this is almost the only way Glaceon gets featured is with double teardrop. So it's kind of a rare it's thing. It's sort of a rare thing. Very fitting for today's episode where I intend yeah. to pull rare cards. Indeed. If I can open the pack. Yeah, if you can get that uh, rolling. While Ben does that, we're gonna announce today's randomly chosen common chase cards, which will be worth one additional point if you find them in your pack. They're going to be Zubat, Low Pony, and Solosis. Are you ready? I am ready, I am ready. <coughs> let's, let's crack it open a fresh pack of cards. It smells like, it smells like foil. It smells it like smells, a fun time. It smells like hollows. Yeah, it this smells is, like hollows. There is there is a, a, a new card oh, smell dude. that I remember from my childhood. It is, in fact, my favorite part about this entire show is the fact that we just get to be so near. I know. So much potential. It's so much fun. If you recall, last time we uh, said that we needed to open double packs this month for Anthony, having forgotten him the first time around. That's our bad. So Sorry, we're gonna, Anthony. We're going to kick things off again with Anthony. And just so that he doesn't get the same first pack right out of the gate, um, two boxes in a row. I'm going to go right here from the just, just I'm going to go Back row. We're not seeing a lot of back row this season. We're not, not yet, not, not yet. yet. Those we will cards get to will, they are not, they are, they are gone, but not forgotten. Oh it my gosh. It that I have done Anthony a disservice though. He's coming Ooh. into the episode with three and now he's already down to two. But let's see, that doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna go poorly for him. Got the gym trainer, the Wallace, the Beldum. Not doing so. Oh, the Snorunt, this is easy to remember this time. It is almost easy, all the yeah. same cards. And the Victini. So there you go. Solid two point, well, no, sorry, it's a one point pack because of the minus on the V-Star right there. 
So we, we forgot Anthony, and it almost didn't make a difference. It almost didn't. Now he's up to four points on the season. All right, last time Anthony had that Incineroar, so now he's got the Victini, so he's kind of working on a solid, you know, uh, fire deck maybe. Hey, absolutely. Possibly. Get it going. Little GLC action. All right, next up, we have Gandalf, the actual white wizard. The actual. Coming I in like, uh, uh, like, a, like a man with five points, because that's how many he has. <laughs> Go ahead. That could be a Miley Cyrus song. Wow. Coming like a five points. Coming in like five points. Hey, look, there's a Fennekin. Is there you the, go. No, that's not it. That's not one, two, three, four, two. Well, the front with the flip, <clears throat> and we have oh, got the salad energy. The salad energy to kick things off. The Honch Crow, the Raichu, the Ferret Horn, the Fennekin, the Rufflet, the Durant Durant, the Beldum. Uh, the, was um, there something? Nope. Okay. The the uh, oh that no it doesn't score. Nope. The Slurpuff does not. Oh, oh but the, the superior, superior V. It does kind of have a little bit of that base V, you know, kind yeah. of general aesthetic to it's it. It's definitely like the base level V kind of thing. It's not like full art, and it's just, is it a 78 sensor, 78, man? it is, wow, it so is indeed. Even with the full art superior, we're still just getting a single point for Gandalf, the actual white wizard. But you know what? It's still a beautiful <coughs> card. Uh, it would still be exciting, you know. If I went to the store and bought a single pack and got a full art of anything, yeah. I, I'd be jazzed. I'm like, it's yeah, like, we did it. Yeah, successful. That's great. So, pack headed your way. There you go. Oh, goodness. All right, next up, Abby. Abby. Mo Just Abby. Abby. Just Abby. Just, I'm Abby. Just Abby. Just Abby. Abby's coming in with three points on the season. And uh, at least when we started this season, had a five week old and a five year old, probably more than five weeks old at this point, but yes. we haven't updated the card, so I'm not sure how much older, probably not a year yet. Boom, we're going in with the salad energy as expected because we saw Ben's pack last time. We know how they do this here. The Beniri, that was it last time. Our common chase card evolved up between episodes. Ooh, and then Neuvern. So really just gonna be a single point for Abby, unfortunately. Unfortunately, Abby had a really strong finish in season two uh, with yeah. a total of 26 points. Pretty pretty good positioning for for that season. Although still a little bit of a slow start. Slow still start. one pack left. We'll see. Well, we'll see what we can do for Abby next month. Oh man, a contender for Rookie of the Day, Ben. We have Austin Johnson. Oh. Austin. Austin Johnson, this is his first pack of the season. AKA AJ. AKA AJ. Those are a lot of letters in a row. They are a lot of letters in a row, but they all make sense, which is what's important. All right, let's see here. So one, two, three, four, can to we the get front. With the drop, flip, we bam, can't. We can't. No, no it's we not sure happening. Can't. Yep, the goal bat, the meow stick, the curlia. Curlia, yeah. Ooh, nice. Litton, Rufflet, Fennekin, Durant Durant. Emolga, Jinx doesn't score, and, and the clink, clink clang. Wow, just a single point. So probably not looking at our Rookie of the Day award there. Although looking at a solid last last place uh, potential finish to get that coveted uh, ETB. ETB, yeah, yeah, as ever. There are there are four different ways in which you can win a prize at the end of a box breaker season. That is first place, which wins a full booster box, 36 packs to yourself, and then we have the quality eighth place award, the Big Steve award, and the last place award, all of which win you an elite trainer box. Yeah. All right, next up we have Mask Maker, who spent an embarrassing amount of time studying Wand Lore. I'm, ben, I'm feeling random today. I'm just going, wow, wow. Right here. You just woke up and chose chaos. I just you? chose chaos today, Ben. I love it. I love you know? it. It feels like I said it feel it felt like a random box. It does, you know. You just can't tell. You just can't tell. And so far, I feel like it's been light. It's been light. It's been light. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get to the heavy. Ready? This is I'm feeling maybe because now now we don't know what the energy could be. You we know, don't have a lot of it could be. Uh, it's eyeball energy. The beloved. The beloved. If only it had been eyeball energy on the pack. Wow, you'd be you'd be doing great. Oh, the Dewpiter scores. The Dewpiter does score. Boom, the Ponytail, the Venonat, the Ralts, the Emolga. Oh, and the oh. Keldia. So the Keldia scores twice, so it's at least a three-point pack. At least a three-point pack. Still good use of that type advantage on the week. Yep. Uh, no, unfortunately, of our randomly chosen common chase cards to give you a couple extra points there boost. Um, however, we're moving on to our next. We are moving on to our next contestant of the day. It is Simon Perkshirt. Okay, I'm gonna do the same as you. Oh now. wow! Now, now everything's just, getting crazy. Everything's getting crazy. We chaos were getting to be too predictable. Chaos, people. It does. Okay. You know, sometimes, sometimes I feel like we can go ordinary. We can go in order, uh, and then on other days we don't. And on those days, like today, we summon extra good cards. That's right. I like to. I like to come up with things that aren't true but could be. 
Because yeah. then if they come to be true, it's like, wow. It's like, wow, I can't that. remember when we called it. Oh, <laughs> that was amazing. All right. So Man, the right. lightning Although, bolt. I think this is what you had last pack anyway. What are the odds? What are the odds? Like one in like eight, I guess. Hey, look at that, though. The Waylord. Waylord will score right out of the gate. Yeah, we yep. got Claydol, <laughs> Mistrevis, Swablu, the Rotom, the Swirlix, the Regenerative Energy doesn't, but the, oh, the Verizion. Oh, gosh. my One of my least favorite legendaries ever. Yeah, I think, that, I think we discovered last, or uh, a few episodes ago, that this, <clears throat> this card is worth a whopping nine like, cents. Yeah, if that. Maybe even only eight. Maybe my goodness. even only eight. I will say, though, you guys, this Waylord right here is the, the breathing heart and soul of my uh, water GLC deck that I'm in the process of constructing. So this one, very good. Very good. For certain. Got formats. some 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 competitive it's got play. Got some cachet to it, if you will. You know, not that anyone needs to tell you the Waylord has cachet. It's basically a, a blimp swimming there through the water. Next up is Vincent. What's it gonna be, Vincent? This one right here? I knew it was gonna be that one. Yeah. I can tell. I can tell. Let's see. From the pull. It I'm felt like Vincent's pack. Someone's gonna get the I want the teardrop. I want the teardrop. Is it gonna be you? Big V? <laughs> Big V. Big V? Big Vince? Let's find out. Is it? It's not. What? What is, what is this three going? in a row? Three in a row. You think you're being random, and then what happens if we have four in a row? Hey, there we go. There That's there a score. Go. The Glalie yeah. scores. The Candice, the Smeargle, the Esper, the Dratini. We have not had like Chin Chow, the, the Dew Dew Pider Pider scores, score, the and oh, oh, nothing with the Crooked Dial there. So that's going to be a solid three point pack for you. There you go. It's going to bring Vincent up to five on the season. It's a lovely hollow, though. It is. Either which way. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah frame it. Out. Put it on your wall. Remember this day forever. Definitely frame it. Send us a picture of it afterwards. And then we'll frame that picture and take a picture of it and send it back to you. Whoa! And then eventually we'll have Is this like happening this, right we'll now? We'll have like an infinity, sec, you know, sort of framed photo sort of thing going on. Wow. If this happens, we'll do it too. Yeah, if you if you frame your crocodile card and send us a picture of it, we will do it. Okay, so it's on it's on you, Vincent. The game is the game is the foot. As they say, next up is Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Oh no, I wasn't gonna pull the front card. Now Elizabeth is good. one of our contenders uh, for the last place position, coming in with just a single point right now. So they want to see the V star. It is important to also remember that in order to score that last place, you must open at least two packs. But not gonna be a problem for Elizabeth because she's already got one done. She's already got one done. So she a, a strong play. contender, a good position to be in. And with the flip. Oh, Man, there we go. Dive all energy. energy. Yeah, that's good. She did not want the teardrop. The Glalie scores, though. Yeah, so there, there is that. Go. Canned ice. The Lucha. Pet the Pikachu. Pikachu. The uh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! The gold Rayquaza VMAX. That is How about awesome. That? Is there anything? Oh! Uh oh, wow. And never mind. Elizabeth is officially out of the race. This is one of the coolest packs. Oh! Worker! Full art worker and black and gold art Rayquaza V Max. So let's let's check that. Let's check what this one does. It has to be said that th this card in particular is known for being one of the most cleverly named cards in the entire set. Like worker. really, like I mean, that they came up with something that's so simple. Yeah. So elegant. Right. You know, it's like it it is like in a stark contrast to the otherwise deep complexity of the game. Right, yeah. It's not even very playable, but anyway. it is cool looking and probably worth a few extra points. There you go, let's take a peek. Yeah. All right, we'll start with uh, with that Rayquaza from the Trainer Gallery, which let's is gonna be Trainer it. Gallery number 29. Mm -hmm. If we go to the bottom there, $6.84, so seven That's points seven right point there. Card. Absolutely amazing. And then number 195 for the worker is going to be $5.57. So that's gonna be six. So that's 13 plus the Gale is 14 points. Wow. Man, that is gonna bring, um, wow, that's actually a really good spot to be in. I believe it puts you in eighth place. Quality eighth the place. The quality eighth place. Oh my gosh. So as long as nothing else changes at all, or as long as no one scores more than you for the rest of the, you know, gets more than 15 points total for the rest of the season, you're sitting pretty. And there is a little bit of like a gap there as well. Like we have, we have uh, Enselman at uh, 14 points, Emily Stock, uh, Bryliv and Stacy all at 12 points. So like right. there's even a situation where they could open one more pack and still not like exceed your point total at the right. moment. You're so right. It's a very strong position. You're they could hit that, thir that dreaded 13 number right now. Oh goodness. Oh dear. Wow, oh, okay. Dear. So that's exciting for, um, sorry, I already forgot your name, Elizabeth. That's a bad name to forget. That's my wife's name as well. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Justin Jump. Here we go. From right here. From right here. 
Justin Jump coming in with three on the season, which is what he ended season two with, but that was just a single pack. So this is gonna be a second pack here. Justin's from upstate New York. Just got into Pokemon cards. Hey, we have family in upstate New York. Oh, you should say hi to them boy, for us. Uh oh, oh the V Star. I am pulling butternut I am, squash. I am pulling poorly for my randomly chosen packs here. Let's see if we can get some extra points on the board with our pack. It's not looking good. Oh no! Oh, oh this, it's a zero point pack. Oh no! That is unfortunate. So that's going to be a big goose egg for Justin. <laughs> How Sorry many points on the that. season? Three, Three on points. the season. Okay, okay. Yep. Averaging 1.5 points. I mean, you got to imagine it's not the worst position to be in for last place. No, and you have that, two packs, so you do qualify. That is there. And you'll get a third one as well. So right. anything can happen. Next up, we have... Uh, Veva, Veva is another rookie, so rookie of the day, very up for grabs. There's no prize there, for it, but uh, there is bragging rights, and right now all I have to beat is one point. So. so, like, yeah, if you go and have dinner <sighs> with your family, and they're like, what happened today? You get to tell them, I was rookie of the day. All of box breakers. Okay, okay. So, like, call grandma, probably, and let her know. Yeah, now, that it could be, now, you might end up like Justin and somehow lose rookie of the day, even though you only need to beat one point. And there we go, rock 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 is pummeling, pummeling energy. We Hopefully got you deliver out. a rock is pummeling, though. Capturing aroma, the Slurpuff, the Growlithe, the Clink, the, the Whalmer, Whalmer scores, the Dratini, the, the Phoebus Fetus scores, the Sunkern doesn't score, and the, the Delphox. Del does. Wow, and the commanding rookie of the day position is Veva with three points. Man, you, you gotta feel like someone's <clears throat> gonna take that. You yeah. do, but right now, you know, that's fine. Right now that's you good. have something to tell your parents and possibly grandparents about. Yeah, while you're at dinner tonight, wherever you're going. I don't know. Maybe it's the Olive Garden. Oh, <gasps> could be unlimited breadsticks and soup and rookie of the day. <laughs> it's the best day ever. Whoa! <laughs> Today's video is Don't not get ahead of yourself. <laughs> it's not brought to you by the Olive Garden. It is not. But Olive Garden, if you want to sponsor us, that'd be the most hilarious corporate sponsor anyone had ever done, and we're here for it. We could definitely have a breadstick award of some we could, kind. We could do there's, it. There's certainly something. There is done. literally an Olive Pokemon in Scarlet Violet. It's called Small Olive. Oh, is it really yeah. called small olive? Yeah, like small olive. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's pretty fun. Anyway, we'll get to that when we get to that, which is a while from now. Is it supposed to be your pack? I don't know. Next up we have Jack. Salad energy, no teardrop None multipliers. At, which means they're still in there. They're still you know? in there. They're hiding exactly. in here. GD, Baltoy, Sunkern, Esper, and oh, the Frostlass! Wow, you were very close to having a one point pack with the Frostlass. Saved you and made it a two point pack. Hey, there congratulations! You there you go. This says uh, Jack's nickname is Rab, short for Rabbit, because he's always been very energetic. Hey! Boy, to be so energetic to be nicknamed Rabbit, and then double nicknamed down to Rab, that's pretty energetic. That's yeah, pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All Evolution right, then. of a good nickname. Yeah. Next up is Nick Meneguzo. That just sounds like a that sounds like a Pokemon character. It does. Meneguzo. What type of what type of uh, gym trainer? What ty what type? It's, it sounds like a, like the like the leader of like one of the you know bad guy teams. Oh. Yeah. Fancy. Yeah, that's you, Meneguzo. Probably probably sends out like Guzzlord or. Uh, What's the Garboder? That's probably your Pokemon. Garboder. Garboder. One, two, three, four. To the front with the flip. Oh, look, dark type. There you go. I am so on to you. You are. Dark tear drop, as I like to call it. Yeah. Oh, the low low pony scores. That does. Wow. Look that. The quad stone, the regenerative energy, the Pikachu, the Ponyta, the Venonat, the Dew Piter scores, the Spinda, the Metatite, and, and oh, the Ho -Oh. V. Yes, that is excellent. Love a good Ho Oh. Gotta love it. Number 140 on the set. Let's take a look at that price there for us. Yeah, this is one where there is a full art version, which sometimes makes the base ones. Oh, it's okay. So it's not too bad. $1.27 okay. gets you an extra point there. So two points, three points, four points on the pack. Uh, plus a nice full art ho oh headed your yeah. way. And I was able to pronounce every single one of those cards. And I'm going to call is... that a personal win for me. I'll tell you what, is it, have we not had a single Solosis or Zubat pull yet? I don't know that we have. I don't had... know that we have. Because whenever we pull our randomly chosen common cards, I'm like, oh man, we're going to get so many points today because we've seen so many of these. And then they never show up. And then they never, it's like they know. It's like they know. Next up, we have uh, Matthias. I'm going right from the front. Good old fashioned fronty. Oh, a fronty. Yeah. Here you go. You're welcome. Now, whoever you were, when I stopped doing from the front, this would be the pack you would have gotten. So oh, keep I'm, that in mind. Yeah, remember that. Sleep tight. <laughs> Sleep tight. It could be amazing. Or it could not be. We'll find out. Watch it be the teardrop. 
It's not. Oh, it, yeah. You know, I should have known because that was the one. Oh, we should have known. We, we should have known. Oh, we've had, there, uh, yeah, the Waylord. We've had so many lightning bolt energies. The Dewbiter scores. And, oh, the Radio Alchazam and, Zam, very and cool. the Armaldo. So, Armaldo. Coming up with a four point pack right there. I love when we get to the point of the season where you just memorize that, like, all of these are definitely just one points. Yeah, yeah. You sort of start to, <laughs> you sort of start to know. We, of course, also review the chart beforehand so that we're not, like, accidentally potentially missing out on point yeah. allocation. Don't but. you guys worry about that. Uh, next up, we have Ellie. Ellie. Oh, her calls. B day is St. Patrick's Day, so hopefully bringing some luck to the table. There we go. There we go. It's also funny how we've had some of these people uh, for multiple seasons now, and I'm starting to remember their fun facts as well. Yeah. So it's like, I hope that someday, you know, we're doing like a meetup, and then like, hi, I'm Ellie, and it's like, St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day. Day. I know that. I know that about you. I know that about you. We're now friends. We're making small talk. Everything's going great. Yeah. Nobody panic. Okay, with the flip. Uh, Salad energy. Salad energy. Wow. Primordial Altar. altar. Mm -hmm. The Quad Stone. The Clank. The, the Whalmer, Whalmer scores. The Dratini, The Phoebus, Phoebus. The Murkrow. Some of those come together. I know. It seems like they do. The, the Toxapex does not score, but the Frostlass Frost does. So look at that. A four point pack. Just really like Basically using the type nowhere. advantage. Yeah. yeah. To, to their advantage, as exactly. it were. Exactly. I mean, that's how Pokemon works. You know, it's all just a giant game of rock, paper, scissors in some way, shape, or form. Next up, we have Alyssa, who loves to cosplay, draw, and write stories. Do you wanna? I've said it so many times on so many occasions. Back. I feel like cosplaying is something I could see myself absolutely getting into. Yeah. Especially if I can just go like walk around a con, you know, right. fully in character and nobody knew it was me. Right, just like, that would be, that'd be super fun. Just like, you're just in, you just get to be, be the person for the day. Yeah. You don't have yeah. to worry about yeah. yourself at all. You're just, you're just there for fun. That's be, that'd be an absolute blast. All right, here we go, Alyssa. Oh, the oh, dark tier drop. So drop. close, so mm. close. And then another dark card. Lavington, Matang, Vulpix. Stunfist, the Snorrent scores, the Fampy, the Lit, and the Dewbiter scores. And, and the Malarnik scores. Yeah, how so, about that? Two in a row. row. That's yeah, two that's uh, four point packs, back to back. That is, that is. That's going to give you um, 10 points on the season. Little outside of that quality eighth place finish, but possibly uh, in a big Steve territory, yeah. depending on how Steve does on his final pack. Right. Big That'll Steve be really interesting, because like I think as of the next episode, we'll we'll probably do big Steve in the first episode, so we'll be able to like monitor people That's moving true. around him. Yes, yeah, yeah. That'll be good. That way we'll have as much time <laughs> as possible to know where Steve lands. Exactly. Next up, we have Hyrotis. Hyrotis. Yeah. Which honestly sounds like it'd just be a Pokemon anyway. It does, it does kind of sound like a high rotus. All right, let's see here. They're coming in to the episode with three points, and this is their second season overall. So yeah, so finished with uh, nine points in the first season they participated in. So they've been known to average three points per pack right. coming into uh, this one. Oh, oh man, we have our that? first type advantage of the day. There's the teardrop we've been looking for. Everything in this pack will be worth double, which is very exciting. Let's see. Can There's the worker. So earlier we got that that full art worker. Yep. Very cleverly named card: the Sunflora, the Drowsy, the Spinarak, the Ralts, oh, the Crowback. Oh, oh, there the we go! The, sword. Oh! the Swordward and Shieldbert. Oh my gosh, those are the dumbest named characters in the history of Pokemon. First of all, and is, maybe the dumbest looking ones. Is this a Sword and Shield reference? Because yeah. that is super, super, super. Sword dorky. and Shieldbert. Yeah, they're absolutely super dorky for sure. But I bet it's worth some points. There we and go. then the, the Talon Flame, Ben's other favorite <laughs> named Pokemon. All right, yeah. then what is the full art Swordward and Shieldbert? Yeah. What do these guys? even do choose a trainer card from your discard pile then ask your opponent if you can put it into your hand if yes put it in your hand if not draw three cards okay so sword bert and shield bert however really not as cleverly sword named word ben yeah well sword you know what i'm gonna i don't even think saying it wrong is a problem that's true um yeah. not not nearly as cleverly named as the uh, ever so clever worker uh however is worth two dollars and seventy cents which will round up to three which will be multiplied by two which becomes six plus an additional four right so ten ten points ten points on the pack 13 on the season high rotis break Makes their three-point average and uh, takes home some of the uh, dumbest named people in the history of Pokemon, but nonetheless a very uh, awesome shiny card that scored you lots of points. So also very interestingly though, so 13 points on the season is a Ooh, is a very it like is. it's you, a fascinating place to be. You're in ninth place right now. Yes, yes you're ninth, in ninth place ninth. overall, so right there uh, in the quality eighth place range so what you're looking for is what like like one per now you want someone to beat you or to get ahead of you because that'll push everything down 
No, well, no, you're right. Yeah, right, right, right. right. No, so no. at this point, you just want to score some, but not a lot. You want like your third... one point in the next pack. Or yes. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell until all the points shake out. But next up, we have Dalton Green going for a, going for a middle of the pack pack. A middle of the pack pack? Yeah, middle of, middle of the pack. Do you remember attack packs from when we were kids? Ben, not only do I remember them, they're all at my house and actively played with by my kids. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Attack packs were fun. They were. Do you remember any of their names? I remember a purple one that you could like lift its mouth open. Yeah, yeah, that was like the most common one. Oh, it was like wow. a rat. Yeah, I remember that one. The only one whose name I remember is Big Bones, and he was one of like the bigger ones. Oh! And his like tires also open up and have jaws in them. That's pretty his cool. His little cage on his back for putting bad guy attack backs. Anyway. <laughs> oh, look at this! I'm sorry. Dalton Green has the teardrop energy. I got lost in nostalgia, as I'm known to do. Hey, look at this. Also, the low bunny. Oh, the low bunny! Two wow. points Dalton, right out of that. Dalton yep. coming out, guns swinging. Guns, that's not a, that's not a phrase. Guns swinging. Guns blazing. Just swinging Ariana, on guns. Ariana scores. It is rare. Oh, and the Superior V-Star. Oh, man. So we actually have three scoring cards, and one of them is a V-Star. So hopefully we're going to see some big numbers here, or bigger numbers. So the Superior V-Star, despite it being a V-Star, is worth $1.44. No, so so round up to two, multiplied two, three, by four, two. So eight total. Eight total. For so. the pack. But the, I mean, the Man. teardrop energy is definitely doing its work. It's doing some heavy lifting it in is. this episode to get people into a position to where maybe a little bit more could happen for them as the season plays out. Right, and that brings Dalton into a five-way tie for 12th at the moment. So the another, moment. another person right there uh, in it to win it for quality eighth place. Next up, ooh! Rookie of the day candidate, Becky Borst. Get your grand grandparents on speed dial. Yeah. Make yeah. some reservations at the Olive Garden, people. It can go down uh, right I, now. I hope, you're, I hope you're hungry for unlimited soup salad and breadsticks. <laughs> this, this is what the rookie of the day should get, like a like a ten dollar Olive Garden gift I, card. I give, yeah. <laughs> We'll work on that. We'll, we'll, we'll workshop yeah. it. Yeah. All right, let's yeah. take a peek here. So one, two, three, four, to the front with the flip. Fireball Man. energy. Right. He's trying to beat three points, if I recall. That's all. That's all. So the Dragonair, the Dom Fan, the Duosian, the Murkrow, the Beldum, the Ball Toy, the Sunkern, the Indeedy, the Krogunk. And the Fion. That, uh, that actually scores two because it's does. both type and rare. Yep. And let's and, see. Oh, oh my oh, no, god. That was it. the Never last mind. one. Oh my gosh. No, I was just... like. Two points on the pack, so... <laughs> I was like... I don't know if this has happened to anybody else in the modern day with screens being everywhere, but there are occasions where I will legitimately be looking at a static object and, and like and swipe it and do that. Oh no! <coughs> wow. So uh, sorry, Becky, you've missed out on Rookie of the Day by a single point. No Olive Garden for you. It's okay to call your grandma either which way. Yeah, you, I mean we're still proud of you, but you know, you you, you didn't win. <laughs> No I mean, there's no easy way to say it. There's no easy way to say it, you know? It's just, this is the facts, you know? Next up we have Megan. Megan. Megan coming in with two points on the season, has been collecting Pokemon cards since she was five, and is now 23 and has yet to open a single Charizard. Well, today is probably not going to be that day because there is no Charizard in this one. However, next season, which will be a one-month season of Crown Zenith, there is the opportunity to pull a Charizard, a alternate printing of the Radiant Charizard, or a Charizard V, or a Charizard V-Star. So, lots of stuff to uh, look forward to in Crown Zenith that month. Maybe that'll be your uh, month, Megan. Boom, rock is pummeling uh, pack for you today. Let's see how the rest of it shakes down. And I'll tell you, Ben's favorite, Brandon. The Murkrow, the Rotom, the Swablu. No, have we not had a single Zubat yet? I do not believe we have. Oh, but we do have something here, are you ready? Okay, peek it Bam, out. the Reshiram V. Oh gosh, I hate to say it, but I do think Reshiram's another bulk V card. 72 <coughs> cents, so 72 yeah, we'll just yeah, be a single, a single point, point, unfortunately. So Megan coming in at three so far on the season. It's a possible last place finish. We'll have to see how it goes. A lot of people floating down there at that like one, two, three point range. You never know how the final pack is gonna go. Next up though, we have Zach Lyons, or just Zach, sorry. You can bleep the last name if you want, Ethan. There you go. Okay, so Zach, let's see what we can do for you here. Second from the back is going to be this pack for Zach. Yeah, okay. Zach is currently teaching uh, over 50 people piano or guitar every single week. So hopefully this pack will be music to his ears. Hey, look at you. Look at you. You can write greeting <coughs> cards or something. Yeah. 
Can gift. and should. Can and should. Maybe or, or Olive Garden commercials. Yeah, or gift cards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. So with the flip. Okay. Oh, the metal energy. Metal energy. So we've got an unidentified fossil, a V guard yeah. energy, a Torah cat, a Phoebus, Phoebus will scores, score, the Snorum will scores. score, the Noibat, the Sand Dial, the Fennekin, the Talon Flame, which will score a point, and the Arcanine. Arcanine. Look at that. A pack of ice and fire, if you will. If you will. That's so a total a four of four point, point pack. pack. Not too bad, not too bad. Double is last pack for a total of six on the season, which uh, can really put you in a big way tie around like 29th place, it looks like. Hey, you know what? Great place to be. That's where Beck Squad is. There and it everybody is. knows Beck Squad is just a hooting and hollering good time. Oh man, our next one, longtime patron, it's Dakota. Dakota. Who, uh, actually, just yesterday we were playing some Rocket League with Dakota as part of one of our uh, patron tiers where you can play, uh, you know, video games with me and Ben once a month. Yes, now. absolutely. So it's check a, that out. It actually is is just so much fun. We've been playing Rocket League lately. Not none of us are very good at it at all. No, yeah. So if you're like even remotely good, you'll probably come and just clean our clocks. But you know, you never know. Our clocks need to be cleaned occasionally. Sometimes. Also, we can get into some Mario Strikers if you want to do that. I'd be down. We've been playing a lot of that too. Also, really bad. Dakota coming in with a Fireball Energy right there. Let's see how the rest of her pack plays out. Bum bum, not looking so hot. Oh, wait, 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 the, Drud the Drudagon Trainer Gallery and the drag so very dragon heavy pack. Yeah, look, look at, at that, that Dratini. Four, you get a full Dragonite line in this pack. That's amazing. That is amazing. Look at this. Wow. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna line them all up just for funsies. That is craziness. Look at that, you can play a Dragonite now. That's pretty cool. Successfully. Okay, let's see here. Check the Drudagon, Dr yeah. Drudugan. Drudagon. Drudagon, yeah. PG09. It's going to be there. 96 cents. Oh, so while no. it's an absolutely lovely card, it will only score you just a single point there. Two points on the uh, um, day, six points on the season for Dakota, another person tied down there with Beck Squad. <clears throat> Who, again, as a reminder, hooting and hollering good time. Hooting and hollering. Next so up is uh, Jesse coming in with eight points. So they've clearly had a really uh, good uh, start to the season. Let's see if they can carry that forward. Carry that momentum. If you could pull eight points each time, that would put you in a very strong fourth place. That would. So, you know, yeah, maybe it maybe a little bit better. I'm all energy. energy. Fan favorite. Let's see another Dragonair. The Venomoth, the Wallace, the Mierny. Sunken Clink. Do I see something in the back here, Ben? No, I don't. Uh, I'm the, sorry. A double, a double Arcanine. Yeah, second one in this, a row? No, second one this episode because we have the Dragonite. You're right. Yeah, last yeah, one. Yeah. But second Arcanine this episode. But it's just a single point pack, unfortunately, for Jesse bringing their total to nine on the season. That puts them in a tied 17th place with uh, Moss Twig. Moss Twig. So I say 17th place, but there's like a bunch of people tied at positions above that. So it's probably closer to like fourth or fifth or something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like seven or eight. I don't know. Um, you know how these things work. Work. You know how these things work. Not to mention, we uh, the the scoreboard does not update with us as we open. Yeah, so, so we could also... be. Yeah, this is the scoreboard as it were when we started the episode. Uh, hard to say. Anyway, next up we have Aiden Rudinirez, who is. Uh, oh, Aiden is going down for that uh, last place one. They've only got a single point on the season. Okay, All going right. from the back. Although the pack feels heavy, I don't know how to describe it when a pack feels heavy, but it just does. I feel like heavy is the word to describe heavy. You know. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's dense. It's dense. That's it's, a good, it's almost like they tucked word. like an extra an extra card into the pack somehow. So they're hoping I'm, for that V star. Don't have it. Don't have it. Don't have it. But All maybe right. a teardrop energy, Whoa! which they do have. Okay. So never mind. Last place feels out the door. It does. Okay. So we have <coughs> more Pekko. Oh, oh and the Waylord. Already worth two. Amazing. Capturing aroma. The Beldum. The Ball Toy. The Sunkern. The Fampy. The Indeedy. The Dedenne, D -D -D which yeah. doesn't score, and uh, the, the Dragapult. So even though they got the teardrop energy there, we're just looking at a four point pack total. <sighs> Man, that is unfortunate for you, Aiden. That's gonna put you at five points, which you almost like, you, you hate to see. You almost hate five to see. Is a, five is a hard place to win from. No, we can stretch our optimism <clears throat> in so many different directions when it comes to this game, but when it comes to five points, it's a little tricky. It's a little bit tricky. I mean. Really what you're hoping for is, is, a, is a Big Steve kind of situation. But even then, Big Steve's at eight points right now. So it really, I mean, may, maybe you're in the running. Oh, Ben, another candidate for Rookie of the Day. It's Charcopple, which sounds Char like another Pokemon. It does. Charcopple. Charcopple, yeah. That's definitely what... a fire type, right? Oh, almost certainly. Yeah. 
Oh uh, boy, let's see. Can we get more than three points and a $10 gift card to Olive Garden? Uh, potentially. And, uh, potentially, you know, as a joke. <laughs> I no. mean, I'm not, a, I'm not above making it a thing, you guys. Um, what do you guys think? Hmm? Let us know. Where would you want a gift card to? <laughs> If not the garden, if not the garden. <laughs> there you go. You got a metal energy uh, unidentified fossil. Let's see how Charcoal is gonna do. We have not had a single Zubat, or we keep missing them, or we keep missing them, <laughs> or Solosis. Yeah. Have we had Solosis? I don't feel like we have. I don't think we have. And the Fio, and so, so we have just a three point back there. So you're tied. There's, There's a, a gift card. And so at this point now, a $5 gift card <laughs> is up for grabs. That's right, we're splitting it, okay? We're not made of money over here. All right, next up is Tempest Blade coming in with two points on the season. Their favorite, oh, this is our lion uh, aficionado. They like Luxray, Pyroar, Entei, and Lucario. Okay, okay, good to know, good to know. So hopefully we'll get some lion Pokemon in here. That would be, oh, yeah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I think at the, oh no, unfortunately, I thought it was gonna be, but it won't be. Let's see here, one, two, three, four. B -b 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 Bam, and <sighs> Okay, okay. Salad energy. The one, the only. The one, the only. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Toxapex. Dracloak. Yep. Baneary. Spinarak. Ralts. I'm gonna. Oh, oh we got a Solosis! Just the, I was like, there's no way we've had a whole box without a Solosis. The Snoron and. Oh, Magirna! Hey, cool! Here we go. All right. Looks like probably a bulk V, but you never know. You never know. You never know. Especially when something is competitive, but this case is not one of those cases. 69 cents. Rounds up to one. Grand total of. Two, two points. Oh, three points three on, the, on pack. the pack with the chase card. Ethan's gonna come tell us, like, guys, you missed like seven Zubats. I, yeah. I know. We're like, oh man. Whoops. <laughs> RB. We have to have like a counter on screen for every I time know. the guys miss something. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot in this one. All right, Ben. We are down to our final contestant of the day, our final contestant of the month. It is Jordan D. And he's coming into the episode with two points as ever. It's time to, it's time to scramble, you know. Time to, to scramble. Now. We're gonna mix them all up, you know, we're gonna get some get some crazy going on in there. Who's gonna, what's gonna be the final pack? Can we have a rogue teardrop energy to finish it out? What I'm super excited about, in case you guys are ever wondering, you might be like, guys, at the end of each, ooh, ooh. It's gonna be this one. Bam, there it is, all right. <clears throat> if you guys are ever wondering, like, what do we do with these leftover packs, don't worry, we are saving all of them for you. And at some point next month, we will have a couple of episodes where we're just exclusively opening the leftover packs themselves, which means that some of the normal statistics, statistics and be, randomness that are involved will go straight out the window. Straight so out It could the be anyone's window. game. It could be. Perhaps this is going to be Jordan D's game. Nope, we have Fireball Energy. I'm knocking all sorts of stuff over here. Crocorock, Anorith, Stunfisk, Vulpix, Snoron, Scores. Fletchling scores. Pharisee, Rotom, and do oh we see something oh, peeking something out peeking back out, there something for peeking the Rotom. Out. It's the Hisuian Arcanine V. Once again, yeah, we got a little bit of that <laughs> that base, but we'll take a look. We'll take a look either which way. As we scroll down to number, is it number ninety on the set? <coughs> it is number ninety. Eighty-five cents. So we're just a, a single, two yeah, two point, point pack. pack. Puts Jordan at four on the season, but at the very least, you get this excellent Arcanine coming to them. Boy, I am excited for the final month of box breakers here at Silver Tempest. Everyone's going to be getting one more pack each. Uh, our uh, rookie of the day was split between two people today at three points. That was this this particular box. I feel like these remaining. Packs Packs. Those are like maybe it wasn't the highest scoring pack, but it just means that the best cards are probably in this stack. So at some point we're gonna get to these uh, remainder packs, and I'm excited to see how that shakes down. I know it's very exciting. Uh, don't forget, guys, if you would like <coughs> to sign up and be and have a pack opened uh, during season three, which is what we're currently inside of, just be sure to sign up by January 31st in order to have a pack open for you in the month of February. And then as another reminder, we will be doing a single month season for the month of March, where we'll be opening packs from the Crown 
Zenith Crown Zenith collection. Uh, that will just be a one month season, so kind of like a one off. It could be kind of exciting to see like what goes I down know, when like you only a... have one pack to open. Right. Uh, That'll so make be... the leaderboard exciting the whole time. The whole time, because yeah. it's like every single pack that gets open, it's like this is the last this one. This is gonna be it. This yeah. is the last one. Yeah. This is so, your final score. Uh, super cool uh, for Crown Zenith month, and then following that, starting in the month of April, we will be diving into the uh, new Scarlet and Violet collection. Yeah, the base set. We'll be back into a three month season. So. So lots of new and fun and exciting things happening with Box Breakers. If you want to check any of it out over on Patreon, you can do so at patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Select the Box Breakers tier. But otherwise, until next time, bye! bye.